That's all good. Hello everyone, welcome back to Xenogears. Akinoff here, and when we last blah, 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 left off, I was telling you about my plans for naming the last episode, which I have promptly forgotten. I should look at the audio recording when I decide to name it. Yes, I should pay attention to that last bit of the audio recording. However, I'll probably forget that it was at the end that I named it. And I'll probably name it something else. I just... Welcome to Chevette, that's what I thought of. Anyway, we're exploring Chevette today. That's a good episode title for episode 61. Exploring Chevette. We're not in Chevette, we're in Solaris. God, I am terrible. We've already explored Chevette. We found its awesome secret, the Power Crisis. And we haven't re-equipped Alior Fae. Uh, she doesn't need the Aoife Stone. I mean, I could give... She doesn't really need it. She does enough damage as it is, and her main focus is area of effect. And Faye definitely can just do with the better gear. Come on, hat. Ah, that's nice. Bulky, bulky Faye. With the power crisis. And what do you got to say? Even Solaris advanced science can't hold aging, but they say the powerful have overcome it. They already have great descendants. What more do they want? Don't you agree? Huh. That's weird. I tend to see the Emperor and strained my back. They can cure ailments. They can cause any. They can cure almost anything, but a bad back. And after putting up with all that to get tickets. Hey, you kids, need tickets to the dedication? It's like you really should go see it. Please! Forget the money, just hurry or you'll miss it. I'm going to watch it on home vision. What's the dedication? Something to do with their king, maybe? Or the, the Emperor? We've seen him in a few cutscenes. Isn't Emperor Kane? Hmm. Emperor Kane is as in... Um... Was Kane the one that killed the other guy? That killed was Kane the which brother was Kane? Ka Kane was the brother that killed Abel and um that whole Christian. Uh, I forget the whole actual broad classification for that. What they call it? Um. Yeah, I, I don't remember. The Emperor will be giving a speech himself. He can't. Ju he can't stand to see our confusion anymore. So he went out of the way to make an appearance. We should be thankful. Hmm. Are you interstrolling? What? Interstrolling is walking along the internet. You need to download. Whew. Wow, that's weird. Yay, the Emperor! The kid, you should be scared of him. He looks scary. You have a ticket? You'd better hurry to. Ma Actually, so I'm guessing that way leads to where... We want to go. The location will start shortly. Okay, that's good to know. Meanwhile, screwing around down below, there'll be a traffic... There'll be traffic during the dedication. Ah, okay, so we can't go there. And I can't cross the road. Right, so I'm guessing... That I only have one place left to go, to the dedication! You have a ticket? Alright, go on through. Better hurry up or you won't make it in time. Guess it's something to do with the Emperor? Um, cutscene? Would so be in a cutscene in a modern game. This is a modern game cut. This is an old game cutscene. Wow, they, they, they're doing this in art style. I. <laughs> this is pretty good for um, Xenogears so far. 
I mean, we haven't had an anime scene in a while, at least. They're probably saving their anime scene, having for the final scene. Then it all got pixelated. My beloved children, you can be at ease. The Gazelle Ministry and I planned the destruction of the gate long ago. The people chosen by God, we the Gazelle, will return to God's paradise, to the sleeping mother God. The time for our immortality has come. We have opened the door to Mahanon, the place where God rests, the source of wisdom and power. The surface dwellers will no doubt use this opportunity to seize its power. However, there is no need to be concerned. As long as Solaris has this power, Huh. Let's show stupid beasts the lambs our real power. Hmm. Oh, fireworks, that's cool. Ellie. Hey, Ellie. Sorry, did you say something? Did I say something? Are you okay? You're zoning. Your mind's not here. Sorry, I was just thinking, and this crowd's noisy. She's inherently brainwashed by Kane. Trillions here, huh? Children of the Emperor. Please open your heart. Krillian? Huh? That's Krillian. He's the real leader of Solaris. He doesn't appear in public very often, that's all I know. He's the leader of Solaris? What, why do I feel something seems familiar? Okay, we're getting into serious stuff now. Is this past Faye? And past Krillian? It's been a long time, Lacan. So, past Faye's called Lacan. Krillian, you're back. I'm giving him a different voice. I just got back last night. You came back home to get paints, right? Sophia told me. Allow me to accompany you. Is that okay? Yeah, I'll leave someone else in command of my unit. Because of Solaris, things are a lot more dangerous these days. Anyway, wouldn't you feel more secure if we were if you were with me? Thanks. So they were friends. How's he gonna react if he's? Because I'm, I'm if I'm not mistaken, Krillian's five hundred odd years old, and. Faye looks a lot like L Lacan. And is somehow related, connected to him. So has Krillian got a freak when he sees him? What did you say? What's the name of the teacher you're studying under? Melchior. Oh, that's one of the sages of Chivette. Hmm. But still, why are you studying? Sophia told me the best way to calm the heart is to read a book. It's a good opportunity, and it has sparked my interest in studying. Hmm. Huh. Now, I'm reading three books a day. You're a f quick reader. You're bloody Hermione. Hermione bloody Granger. If, you, if it can change, it will. The art of war, that's all you think about. Hey, that's mean. You know, I'm the best of all of the students. I see. That's great. It sounds like you found something to put your heart into. What do you mean? You have something... Your pictures are splendid. You should be thankful.
Lacan, look at this. I finally completed it. This will save people's lives. Isn't that right, Malachi? If this even Sophia will. Faye? Faye? What's wrong with you? Uh, it's nothing. But that guy Krillian. I feel like I've met him before. Do you understand? Shall I translate? Yeah, please. The gate we control was removed by the by will of the Emperor. However, there are foolish beasts here defying our holy land with their feet. These beasts destroyed the gate and want to remove the Emperor from the throne in the confusion. This is a grave matter. The Emperor's throne has been polluted. We cannot rest yet. These imbeciles have been caught and shackled like the dogs they are. Hmm. Don't yell. What if they find out you're a land dweller? Sorry, couldn't help it. They've been caught? Damn, let's go. We gotta help them. Wait, he's still talking. To revive our progenerators, the gazelle of old. The day after tomorrow, these land dwellers will be disposed of in this... Silent system. Revive gazelle? So a lent system? What's that? Gazelle are pure red Solaran pe Solaris people. The word means first class citizen, but in that case, it probably means the gazelle ministry. Long ago, the members of the gazelle ministry lost their fleshy bodies in order to protect the Solaris people. I've heard that the Solaran system is an important sy support system of the Solaris, but I don't know much else. Anyway, it's probably a cover for some kind of experiment. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going. Those guys won't stop me. That's why I said wait. We don't know what's going on over there. If we just run out there brazenly, we might just fall into the same trap. The palace is on alert. Excuse me. There we go. We don't even know where the they are taking prisoners to. We still have two days. I'm sure there's a way to help them. We must find it. How do we know we have two whole days? What if they change their mind, and then tomorrow... I mean, it's possible, isn't it? Maybe, but there's nothing we can do, right? Titan wasn't there, which means he's probably watching the broadcast somewhere right now. First we must find him. He knows the layout of the central core of the city better than I do. So let's not do anything careless, okay? Where is he? We need him. How should I know? Don't be a snot. You haven't fought anything out at all. I'm just saying, we have to be careful. But, what? Hey, what's going on? Look, we've been discovered. It's because you keep raising your voice. This way. Huh? See alert! Two suspects located! Send the security cubes immediately! Right, is it just Ellie and I fighting our way? You two, please stop all action. Suspicious person sighted in Arbot Plaza investigating. Ellie, they're here. If those security cap cues catch us, we're in big trouble, Faye. This way. Ellie? Ellie, oop! Stop deceased from moving. I'll have to jump. Whoopee! Ah. They escaped. I don't understand. Affirmative attack. This way. Suspect escaped emergency response. Faye, are you alright? Yeah. It was just so sudden. We gotta get moving. Those weird robots are coming after us. What's wrong, Ellie? So this is the place. I might be able to do something. Anyway, let's try and run through here. Yeah. I can fight a few enemies. Okay, they're pretty big. I changed my mind.
I think I can fight these guys. Yeah, I can fight these guys easy. I mean, a boat bolt should kill this one. Okay. Let's just try this again. If ether attacks don't work, we'll just have to use death blows. Death blows always work. Though if they could do some damage, that they work super well. I mean, like on everything. Okay. Oh, there's a. Oh, I can deal with fighting a few enemies. I can deal with fighting a few enemies. It's not that big a deal. They didn't manage to touch us. Um, triangle, triangle, box X. Chike. Chike is his ground one. Hmm. Ground's not as effective as water. Huh. So you want me to go one, two, three, four, and emo zap. Wait, she can damage it just with her weapon? She doesn't have higher attack than Faye, does she? She has higher attack than Faye. I need to damage Faye. Hmm. Let me actually check that for a second. 62, 64. Wait, is it, is it her Aoife that's dealing that damage? Does the Dark Rod deal Aoife damage? Alright, I'm going back for the treasure chest, I don't care. I don't mind. Um. Can I guided shot Faye? No. Can I guided shot this thing? For one damage, yeah. Defense down. Oh, because they put the defense down. Please don't kill Faye. Actually, I don't really, really... Perfect! So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice being able to just... wield Faye's ultimate power of pi power... Cr <laughs> it's nice to be able to wield power crisis. And deal 4,000 damage to enemies. Oh, he's in a true crisis state. That's no big deal. One, two, three. Ah, oh, I could just... I didn't even get to use a death blow. I'm disappointed. Very, very disappointed. Ah, oh, balls. I'm actually going to have to go over this properly. <sighs> this guy doesn't have a clue, does he? Um... Can't quite deal the damage I'd need to to one-shot it with just melee. If I can still deal 3,000 damage as a death blow. Well and truly did. When they lower their defense to up their ether defense, they screw themselves. I mean, I get why they do it, but... Oh, I'm going to need to go across here fairly slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Not so slowly, but I can deal with these guys easy. And phase low HP makes me happy. <laughs> it's kind of bad if I need to recover from it, though. Hmm. So... Let's, check this. Let's stick this to a K. Which 
which I can guarantee, to, which I can do easily enough. I love the, how much damage he's just gonna do to these things. <laughs> it's so stupid. Um, triangle, triangle, box X, Terra Charge. I forget what Terra Charge looks like. Oh, it's the moles! And then the big one hits. It's a lit. It survived that. The f Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Fuke will work. Face simply deals so much damage that it doesn't matter what they do. He will destroy the enemy. He's just ridiculously powerful. That's a good... That's a good class perk. Ridiculously powerful due to power crisis. I mean, they're not difficult to fight. Fivit... I wouldn't have needed to equip so many Fivit... I wouldn't have needed to buy so many Fivit caps if I'd known I was going to get one. Um, and I want to go... Fox Triangle Triangle X, just to be quick. What's Ellie's other... Her fire move, what's Ellie's... Fire move, I'm trying to remember. Triangle Box Triangle, Fermo Fump. Oh, this is just she drops a meteor on the enemy, right? But it's only dealing 72 damage. Hmm. Hmm. They can almost deal a lot of damage to these guys, but nope. Hmm. Maybe if I tried one of Ellie's more powerful spells, I could actually damage them with Aoife? That's worth a uh, go. Yeah, that's worth a go. Oh, we got out. Where are we now? I cannot rotate the screen at all. This sounds very peaceful. Where are we? The first class citizen level. This is where the last people called Gazelle live. Follow me. Wait, the guard of robots may get you again if you go in there. Don't worry, this is my house. Your, your house? This big house is yours? She lives in a mansion, doesn't she? Well, space mansion. Yep, come on in. Uh, We're going to go to Ellie's room. <laughs> no, it's not really that funny. It's a bad joke. It's a very bad joke. Faye is very nervous, though. She's like, she's actually a rich girl? What? I thought she was just a military girl. Ellie? Ellie, is that you? Mother? Medi Medina. You, I'm glad you're okay. The military told me you were missing in action. No, Mother, that's not true. See, I'm alive. Mother, where is Father? He's still at the palace. I think he'll be back soon. I see. Ellie, who's this? Well, uh, uh, he's from the Special Forces. Same as me, he's only recently promoted from third class citizen. It was because of him I was, I was able to return. Right, Faye? Well, uh, no, I mean, I see, that must be why he's dressed like a land dweller. But why isn't he wearing a Special Forces uniform like you, Ellie? Sorry, Mother, there's a report I must turn in right away, so, Faye, come with me. Is he your boyfriend? Ma'am? I have no idea what's going on here.
This is my room. I can finally relax. This place is huge. This is bigger than the village chiefs. Heh. <laughs> I'm sweaty after running, so I'm taking a shower. You have a bathroom in your room? It's a pretty it's pretty normal. It's not normal. When are you going to stop staring? Hey Ellie, was that your mother? Yes. Oh, she sure is a pretty lady. Yes, she is. But you don't look much like her. Do you resemble your father? <laughs> Faye, did you just say she's not pretty? Haven't you noticed yet? What do you mean? The color of my skin, hair, and eyes are different from normal Solarians. I've never paid attention to it, so really... A long time ago, when I was small, I had a nanny. She was so nice to me, but she was a land dweller, the fir and first class citizens really associated with them. The nanny lived in our house and took care of me. She lost her child when she was in the third class area. My dad felt sorry for her and kept her under his protection, but he never told anyone about her. Why? My father was worried about my appearance. He had a reason for it. She was probably my real... Ellie? I bet not. I'm sure you don't want to hear about this. Sorry. That's alright. <laughs> Awkward situations like, I can't look over my shoulder or else I'm going to get in a bunch of trouble. Now it's your turn. No thanks. I don't have time for that. You need to relax. You don't get a chance like this very often. Please. She's shoving me into a shower! Alright, if you insist. You should have listened to me in the first place. What? You're fine, just relax. Well, feels good. Is there a difference between this and Doc's old bathtub? Stop it! Stop staring at me! Don't worry, I'm not looking. Just adjusting it. How's the temperature? Hey, I'm fine. Go away now. <laughs> that has got a cute sight. <laughs> uh, that's a funny shower scene. I feel refreshed. Now, what am I going to do? There's no time to relax. Yes, I really don't want to. But there's no other choice. You have any good ideas? The network terminal in my father's room. He got angry with me for touching it once. There's numerous information only a handful of people have access to. So we can find out where Bart and the others are located from that? I hope so. Right, uh... That's what we're gonna do then. Not next time, but this time. I was tempted. I mean... We don't need to make this only a... Oh, Ellie, what are you doing in your father's room? Don't you remember how mad he got last time? What am I going to do with you? We can't go in there, huh? What about here? What? No, wait, this is someone else, I think. Oh, Miss Ellie, you're still alive. I'm so happy to see you. I thought you passed away. Master will be so happy. Oh, yes, here's a present for you from the Master. Psycho Rod? Please take good care of it. Is that a better rod than what she has? It is! Puts up the 71 attack. It'd be nice if her rod boosted her ether. But we're going to get a certain item that'll boost ether that either she or another character will use. Anyway. Let's... Go... See Ellie's adoptive mum. Okay, this place is a lot smaller than we thought it was. 
Ellie, I'm so happy. Let me see you. You never said you'd be back. I almost gave up hope. Mother. Are you staying for a while? This time you should relax. Your father will be so happy. Yes, I guess. Let's have a nice meal. Faye, would you like to join us? Ellie never invites her friends over. I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm going shopping, so make yourself comfortable. This is when we strike, right? Got her out of the house. Ah, let's go. He's out of the house. We're being dubious. What's in this case? What's in this case? <laughs> I want to know the most rare. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? This is it. If we can break through the palace network security by accessing this. ID. Password would probably be something related to me. Helene. It's... <laughs> That's no good. Let's try it backwards. <laughs> he's a terrible... He's got terrible security habits. No no different characters in there. You have 19 unread males. Males? Men? Yes, got it. Let's see. We're, we were here before, so... Wow. It connects to here. Hey, we should, pro we should be able to get to in to where everyone is. From the trash chute in the third class citizen level. That means we're going back to the first, that first location? Now we know where we are, let's hurry. Ellie, where are you going? Father? What are you doing, Ellie? I told you before not to come in here and touch that machine. Is, the, is this a guard? It's me, Eric. A burglar broke in here, yeah, come quickly. Father, if he's not a burglar, then why is he? A strange man in my room? Isn't he a burglar? There's a reason. Please, don't shoot him. Faye just wants to save his captured friends. They're my friends too. No, even if he is your friend, I can't overlook a land dweller who tries to sneak into the palace. Fine, then I'm also a traitor. Go ahead and shoot me. No, you're staying here. Now, move out of the way, Ali. No. Oh, she's been very stubborn. You know how traitors are pun. Even if they're first class citizens. You'll be safe if we kill the intruder who knows about us. I'm worried about your safety. You're lying. You just hate being in a position that endangers you. Isn't that why you didn't want me to join Youngend? You just don't want everyone to see your own daughter. Because I'm half a land dweller? I can't believe you still. How dare you say that in front of your mother? Because... Stop it. I don't want to see a father and daughter fight because of me. I won't cause you any more trouble. I came with my own will. I am an intruder. If I just get out of here, it'll be fine. Faye! Ellie, you shouldn't say that in front of your mother. I don't know the truth, but she is your mother. Not a stranger, isn't that right? Now get out of the way. I have to hurry and save my friends, but if you intend to shoot me, I'll put up a big fight. Father? The intruder has escaped. Now get out of here. Be a while until the guards get here. You may be an intruder, but the fact is you protected my daughter. If I shoot you, I'll lose her. Father? Let me go with Faye. No, I can't let you go. But... That's alright. This is a land dweller problem now. We won't trouble you any further. I'll go by myself. Faye. Ellie, this time, leave the military. Thanks for everything. Faye. We're not really leaving her behind. She's not really staying behind. We know that. And we want to go 
across this bridge. Back this way, away from the girl whose head we stood on. How am I supposed to get back through security? Hey you, aren't you the one from the dedication? You're under arrest. Get in that door. No, oh, this actually works for me. What are you gonna do to me? As I suspected, you know nothing. Seton? Doc, Seton, why are you here? I saw Bart's image on the bird vision and the dedication. You saw that too, Doc? Yes, but I did not see either of you. Soon after I heard there was an intruder at the second floor of the Arabato grounds. I suspected it was probably you, so I waited here. After that, I didn't hear anything about the capture of any intruders. How did you know I was going to be here? The best possible way to sneak into the palace is through the dust chute. You knew all this and you didn't tell us? Ah! Uh. To get back to the third floor, one must pass through the obs this observation tower. I've always been thinking. Do you think you could possibly be a little more subtle? When infiltrating enemy ground, the most basic thing to do is be stealthy. With the amount of activity you have stirred up, you could even wake up the dead. I kind of believe you there, Seton. I was actually trying to be subtle. <laughs> By the way, what happened to Ellie? Was she not with you? Ellie, she went back home. She's re she really shouldn't have any relation with us land dwellers. Judy has such wonderful parents. I see. Yes, it may have been better for her that way. Let's head for the dust chute then. Yeah. Now if I stand very close to me. This way it does not pick up on your presence. Doc, hold on. How can you get past here? According to Ellie, only first class citizens and military personnel can pass through here. Uh, well, that is... Pr probably... They have not deleted my ID from the days I was in the military. And it's still stored in the databanks. There's nothing you're not telling me. My House of Laris monitors are sloppy, huh? I don't believe you, Seton. Now let's get you upgraded to more powerful ground gear. A crimson vest. Can I, can I go for something other than the Warhelm? Um, something that suits him. The battle apron, maybe? Hmm. If I had another speed ring, I'd use that. But I don't. Hmm. Yeah, let's give him the battle apron. Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. He's sea time. High HP, high stances, high everything. Sea time's awesome. And we're going down. And we're going through here using sea time as a shield this time. Got a hug, Seton. Don't know what else we're going to be doing, but... We should probably end this episode off before we go into the dust chute. Wait, where are the... Droids that patrol... They're not here anymore, huh. At least we don't have to worry about them. All oh, right, right. I just have to go down this one. Just remembering my way around, and we should be almost done with this. Getting back to this dust chute, where we will probably be pretty much ending the episode. Because we're going to go to fourteen. And we're going to end this episode off here. Next time on Xenogears, we're going to infiltrate the palace through the most diabolical of means. Sleeping. Faye, go for the dust shoot. Okay, okay, but most diabolical means. Saving. Anyway, my name is Vinakinov. Hope you've had a good time and good night or something like that anyway. Next time, I've just said what we're doing. See you then.